Hey YouTube, uh, this is Prometheus. Got a request um, from one of my subscribers. He said he's really struggling against uh, the mid blitz uh, defense. Uh, I want to show you basically a couple ways to go and break this down, but I'm also going to show you ways to actually beef up your mid blitz uh, with some minor adjustments. So a lot of times uh, the double A gap defense uh, is uh, a very good defense to go and use against someone uh, for pressure. And, and the primary reason is that you actually, it's a very simple setup. It's probably one of the best uh uh, defensive setup blitzes, the most consistent blitzes, uh, blitzes in the game, and it has been for years. So uh, what's great about it is that if your opponent does not block additional blockers, you're always going to get edge pressure guys that actually come off the edge uh, and essentially go ahead and get to the quarterback on both sides of the, uh, of the play. So very easy blitz to set up. This should be something you should have in your arsenal if you haven't already. Um, and it's a good defense to use in passing situations. Now I'll talk about why this is not one of the best defenses in general to use against your opponent because there are actually some uh, some major issues. But uh, basically to set this defense up is pretty simple. Um, basically what you're going to do is man align. Uh, what I like to do uh, with the mid blitz version of this is actually go ahead and use the guy that's going to be on the running back. You want to go ahead and spread your defensive line out and crash them down. And then a final adjustment is to go ahead and hit your right bumper and pass commit. Those are the adjustments. Now typically what I like to do too is I like to use the guy right over the center. This sometimes will preoccupy the center. And my, my pass responsibility more than anything else is to go after that running back. Another adjustment a lot of players do is they're going to go ahead um, – and uh, basically go ahead and press their guys and force the opponent to actually make a read or make, a, make an adjustment like that. So as you can see right here, uh, the computer actually pressed it out, uh, th threw the ball away. So let's just go ahead and set this up again. We're gonna crash down, press. I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy. And typically what I like to do too is uh, basically go ahead and take these guys uh, and press them. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and use her over the safety and I've gotta play that running back as my assignment. And a lot of times what's going to happen is that that pressure is going to come in. Now, here's the problem with this defense is that it does give it does make it does make it somewhat difficult for you uh, to run this defense where you actually have to make uh, fast decisions and actually go ahead and cover guys a lot. Uh, guy a lot so you have to quickly determine whether this running back is going to go out or you're going to go ahead and stay user. So that's one of the one of the advantages disadvantages with this defense but uh, it makes it very difficult for the for the CPU to make a choice so you can see the pressure was on ever the, the the guys were coming down and actually chasing getting rid of the ball the Q, CPU made the right decision right in this type of situation but you could see look at these guys are actually coming down and, and he, they're going after the quarterback so you if you uh, if you're playing against someone who really doesn't know how to make really good decisions right like that uh, that def definitely could put you in a situation where you can you can get some easy t you know, turnovers. So uh, that's what's cool about this defense. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what you can do on offense against anybody that uses a double A gap defense. But I want to show you one other thing too. You could set up the same type of a defense with a coverage defense too by making the following adjustments. So all you're basically going to do is you're going to go and switch into a coverage defense. You're going to spread your, your defensive line out. You're going to blitz all, which means you're going to take that defense, those uh, those linebackers, and put those guys in. We're going to crash down, and then we're going to pass commit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take this guy that's supposedly covering the running back and cover and just and just hover over the center. And a lot of times, what's going to happen is now you've got zone coverage, and this is going to mess up your opponent's reads. So this is another. This is a defensive strategy a lot of uh, top Madden players you uh, use uh, with with their defense. Uh, is basically what they'll do is they'll use a zone defense just to try to mess up their opponent's reads a little bit and just try to leverage that um, into their scheme right here. So right here, the computer actually makes a good read. I think he might have blocked more, but let's take a look at the instant replay, see why uh, why this guy got enough time and he didn't get blitzed. Uh, it looks like, um, no, nope, he didn't block anybody, but you could see this guy is actually coming in eventually. He would, He's going to get clean eventually. So if I would have usered this correctly, if I would have stayed closer down in the box, I might be able to pick off these two little spot routes that actually he threw correctly into. But you can see that's what forces uh, opponents to make adjustments. So let's go ahead and run this, run this mid blitz. I'm going to switch sides. You can see right there. 
quick read, you can actually get an easy interception uh, if you play this defense correctly. So if I'm playing this, if I'm actually playing against someone who's running a lot of mid blitzes from me, uh, basically what I need to do is understand that if he's playing man coverage, I need to have basically man man beaters. And if he's playing zone cover, or if he's playing zone, I just have to look for the seams. So uh, we, we can we can basically uh, pop a slant streak route against them. So slants are going to be success, uh, susceptible to this where you can just go and pop that for a big completion. Got a little whip route off to the right. Now typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to block more, but the little whip route is going to basically get myself some pretty good separation off that. So double moves are going to be very effective. And if he's got off coverage, you can take those, those quick little slant routes in and out. Now, another thing you could do too is you can max protect. This is going to go ahead and basically go ahead and take away those six blitzers. And all you really want to do is just look for your, your man reads. So it's man coverage. You got the little dragger. Let's go ahead and hit that, get the separation, go ahead and, and, and turn that up. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, hopefully we can get an inside zone here. So this is perfect. Um, one of the things that's bad about uh, basically a double A gap defense is that it's very weak against inside zones or outside zones. It's any kind of a zone run. Now I want to want I want to show you. Now, I've got a really good def uh, defensive uh, uh, player over there, which is going to be Fletcher Fletcher Cox. But if with a zone run, a lot of times what happens is you're going to basically get a little bit better blocking on the outside. So let's go ahead and see if we get. So you know if you got a guy that runs a lot of these these plays, just use a zone run. And a lot of times what's going to happen is you're going to get um, huge holes up the middle because of the way um, the A-gaps actually go. They, they, they get um, helmets on them from, from the offensive line. So take a look at this right here. Because these guys are down in the A-gap, it's a fast, easy um, read for the, for the offensive line in the sense where they know where they need to know their blocking assignments. They don't have to go to the next level. They don't have to reach to these guys. So a lot of times what happens is that you're going to see these guys take on the correct blocking assignments and it's going to allow you to go ahead and get an easy run uh, just because they're going to, they're going to push uh, to create a hole for you and you actually could pick up some pretty easy yards. Inside zone um, and a lot of times what's going to happen is you're going to get yourself a nice little running lane where you can pick up some pretty easy yards. So obviously in second down situations, if you've got a guy that, that spams uh, these type of coverages, uh, this, this defensive set against you uh, in first and second downs, just do the inside zone. You can actually get some pretty good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at basically why stick here. Uh, with this, you know, all you want to do is just look for the quick outs and actually go ahead and hit that is, is another thing. Now, I'm going to go back to the defensive side of the ball. I'm going to show you how that if you play the double A gap, there's a, there's a, some techniques in where you can actually go ahead and OP uh, these double A gaps. So if you got a guy that's running uh, these against you, this you know there's a lot of ways that you actually can go ahead uh, and be very, very effective with these. Uh, it's just you just, have, you just have to know your man beaters more than anything else um, and, and try to hit those progressions and leads. Uh, and if you block you know more guys, it's going to give you more time. So um, if you're struggling with this, I would definitely stay out of basically a, a wide set. But if you choose to use a wide set, uh, basically use quick routes that you that you know you can go and get rid of the ball for a quick and get separation against your opponent. So that's just another thing you can do. So let's just go flip back into the defensive side. Let's talk about how you can make uh, double A gaps better defensively. Um, so it forces your opponent to really compensate for it and put you in a better situation. All right, so basically a concept that you can do against your opponent uh, is what I refer to as plus one blitzing. So um, with this type of, uh, of, of uh, defense, um, if he blocks his running back, that means he's going to have six people to go ahead and take on the six bl the, the, uh, blitzers. So in other words, that line is set to go and take negate that, that blocking scheme. So what you can do is you can go ahead and take your defender and read the running back and determine if you want to go ahead and manually blitz in uh, to uh, basically go ahead and turn it into a seven-man blitz. This is what we call a plus one. Now, in previous Maddens, the system would actually acknowledge that the running back was blocking and it automatically put a man assigned uh, defensive player in on the blitz. But what they do now is it drops back into a zone. So you'd actually have to manually adjust this. But let's go ahead and watch the running back and see what happens. Uh, he actually goes ahead and runs out uh, with that. But let's see if we can get the, what I'm looking for. Bring this guy down. Hopefully he blocks his running back. 
He does. And because of that, if I come in and blitz, I'm going to get another edge defender because it's going to overwhelm, overwhelm the offensive line and the defensive line. So this is a plus one blitzing concept. So let's look into the instant replay. I'm reading this guy right here. He's my responsibility. I'm not really going to worry about what's going on in the back, uh, back coverage. And once I see him step in or actually play that, I'm going to go ahead and manually rush down. Now I can I can manually rush into the into the offensive line because I'm not really concerned about that. All I want to do is get one of my defenders free to get to the quarterback. So you can see right here, I actually engage with the tackle. This guy comes around with a running back, but look on the opposite side. This guy is not accounted for because basically there's seven blitzers and there's six blockers, and he's going to get a free look to the quarterback. So this is a, this is a defensive strategy that you can use. Now I'm not someone that is big into blitzing or doing or using my defensive lineman, but if you use the the, uh, the defensive back that's supposed who's got a coverage responsibility, and if he's covering that running back, but the running back doesn't go out. Going in a blitz, this is going to basically get seven people down in the box and actually mess up your opponent's reads. So just going to go ahead and spread this out. We're going to uh, do this. We're going to press our guys down. And I'm going to go ahead and watch that running back and see if uh, this running back comes out. Uh, he does on a delayed stuff, but the pressure just comes in hot, and the quarterback just doesn't have time to get rid of it. So this is going to make this blitz a little bit more OP for you. Um, you definitely want to go ahead and pass commit, make sure these guys are responding. If you wanted to, you can bring this guy down so he's a little bit tighter. And we're going to go ahead and take this guy, and we're going to blitz in if the running back doesn't go out. So the running back does go out. He does a little angle route. That's a perfect route against the user as an angle route, because uh, especially if you, if you mix, mix up a flat. So we're going to user this guy off this edge right here. And... You can see right here that he's going to have to get rid of that ball quick, and that's going to be very difficult for him to do that. I'm going to show you just an instant replay. What we're looking at uh, previously is that I'm tr I'm watching this running back right here, and if the running back blocks, I'm coming in because look at this guy off the edge. He's coming in clean. He's going to get in here clean with the plus one concept. So is it, is it a perfect defense? No, but it's a good situational way, defense that you can throw into your scheme to make these a little bit uh, better. Uh, he actually just turns around as quickly as the ball is let go. Uh, but this is a good defense to go and jump into um, to basically beef up your mid blitzes. So uh, how do you beat it? Uh, it? You know, inside zone plays, zone running plays are actually going to be very good. But you also have to have double moves. And sometimes you just have to max protect. You're going to have to block seven and have a double move or basically routes that you know are going to beat man coverage or basically beat man coverage over the top. So going to lab, um, I, would, I would lab this defense um, personally, just to see, hey, this is these are the pros and cons and stuff like that. This is gonna this is gonna work best for me. It isn't gonna work best for me. Uh, but these are just from little strategies. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. If you have any other uh, questions or stuff like that, and you need help with it, just let me know. I'll be rolling out more offensive defense statistics to take, take your game to the next level. So thank you for your support. Until next time.